First off, this tan line is absolutely ridiculous. I haven't taken that thing off since July of 2022 other than playing volleyball. So, my whoop. This is a review on this thing. Basically, I've worn this every single day, or I have worn this every single day since July of 2022. And I just want to give you a little inside scoop. And I was about to put it back on because it's habit, but I don't need it anymore because I'm not going to renew my subscription. But first off, what is Whoop? So this guy, put him like right here. His name is Will Ahmed, I believe. I don't want to mispronounce that, but that's how I think it's pronounced. Basically, he created a fitness and health tracker to, as they quote, unlock human performance, which I thought was really cool. I was very interested in it, obviously bought it. I'm going to actually go pick it up real quick. But, it looks broken, but it's not. <laughs> so it's basically a sensor right there. See if I can get it to go green. But it tracks my heart rate and gives me this loads of information. And the app is very thorough and just a lot of data. Like Whoop will have or it has validity because of the science that backs it up. And again, there I am trying to put it back on. It's basically it tracks my heart rate and it goes by HRV, which at first I didn't understand what that was, but researching it before I bought it means heart rate variability. So the variability between heartbeats, like if it's longer or slower. So if you're working out, it's a lot quicker versus if you're resting, it's slower. And it judges a lot off of that. They go mainly by sleep and strain, or those are the two I really looked at, but it was... It was a lot of cool information in a year. As an athlete, I loved it just because of all the little specs I got to learn about myself, which I'll get into, but I don't know if it would necessarily benefit someone that doesn't like the science, that is just wanting a heart rate. I wouldn't, like a heart rate monitor, I wouldn't suggest it, but these are the three things that really helped me out or that I got to learn about myself. Okay. First thing I learned about Whoop was basically my sleep. I knew I've always been a good sleeper. Like you can ask my family, kind of knock out anywhere, anytime. But the best quality sleep I get, which in Whoop it explains it in four different waves. I think it's awake, and then light sleep, deep sleep, and REM sleep. And basically, you want to get in these certain percentages of those four, and I'll show you on the screen somewhere right here on my averages but I've learned that if I go to bed between 9 and 10 30 those are the best for me like best quality sleeps and if I wake up around 6 30 7 30 8 which I know that's a lot of variability but if if I go to bed in between 9 30 10 30 it's like golden so that was like number one for me what was really cool to learn number two was basically just learning my max heart rate was around 190 which we went about this in class, in one of my ex -phys classes, is that you take your age minus, er, 20, 220 minus your age, which I'm 22, so that should be around 188. And I've gotten it up to 190. Like, I'll show you a thing of a game once that was really crazy. My max heart rate, what it got up to, and just total calories. So that was, like, a big thing for me after matches and after workouts was like learning my max heart rate if I could obtain it and like if it was reachable did I do it or did the workout seem really hard and I didn't get there and so that was cool to learn and also how to like refuel and recover my body like whether that was a nice bath or eating more food or just simply relaxing that was like cool to learn based off of learning what my max heart rate was which that could be done without a whoop, but it was a consistent review on the whoop in my app that I could see. And then three, um, this one was actually really big. Number three for me was how much school stress, family stress, emotional stress affected my actual like strain. And they mentioned it further in my year of owning a whoop. Like they had this like breathing technique and I really enjoy their Whoop podcast, but 
it like shows how much a mental emotional strain can actually affect your body and I just thought that was crazy like just in the moment it makes you more strained your heart rates up because of stress but like it affects you in the long run like for me last semester or not fall of 2022 was season as well as probably the most stressful um, season of school I had and I could definitely tell the difference like preseason I was having green day after green day because I was going to bed at time and there was no school during preseason but then you go into actual season everyday life of five-ish months of playing plus a full school load and for me it could tell that I could tell that my school was stressing me out and in a good way because I think I cared but I didn't channel it the best ways I just got data that showed I was stressed out so <laughs> that was cool to learn I guess I'm definitely working on different stress techniques or recovery I don't know relief I don't know what you call that for learning how to deal with stress so those are the three main things I learned from having a whoop for a whole year all right now moving forward I don't personally or I'm not planning on owning the whoop again I don't know how long it's going to take to get rid of this tan line I hope it's not long I'll probably go stand in the sun after this but I do want something to track my heart rate that's the goal I want here but after learning a year of what the kind of like subtle things that make me tick that I didn't know for example going to bed around 9 30 is way better than going to bed at 11 30 even if you get the same amount of sleep that's for me so knowing that moving forward I'm going to try and go to bed at 9 30 and I wouldn't have learned that without whoop but after learning that I don't really feel the need to have it for a whole nother year or however long so I'm looking at other options I know like Garmin is a pretty cool one it's more outdoorsy which I'm looking more into with traveling coming up but I could honestly go to a Fitbit or something I really like I think this is called a Casio the watch I have but going from two things on my wrist to one is gonna be really nice that's my one recommendation for whoop if you're ever gonna see this please put a time on the band somewhere It'd be really nice so people don't have to wear a watch and a fitness tracker. But all in all, I think it was pretty cool as an athlete to own a Whoop for a year. I just won't own it for the next years. But good product, really thorough, really educated product. And I'd recommend if you're looking into the more data specs of being an athlete. So thanks for watching.